Greetings and welcome to Kingdom University. This is the how to change your article in a Joomla 3.0 website. So we're going to go in right now to the site and we are going to uh, make some changes to an article or what uh, would be known as a web page uh, on the website. And then we're also going to see how to do a new web page. So let's go right in and we're going to enter our login information, hit login. And every time you come to your login, you're going to come to the control panel. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can A, go right up here to the quick icons and select add a new article if you're doing an article or select article manager if you'd like to go and edit an article. You can also go up here to the top where it says content and hit article manager or add a new article. So right now we're going to go in there and change an article. So let's go to article manager and as you see there'll be a list of the articles that are available and for instance if we go in here and we want to change the size to a picture or add some text we're just going to click on the link as you see once it comes up it might look like this for a second it's just loading so after it loads you should see it as a regular page and what that was was if you go down here to toggle editor that was the actual coding for it so usually you don't want to mess with the coding part if you don't know how to use the coding you can just make sure it stays toggled in the original position where you can actually use it as a text editor so this is what's called um, a WYSIWYG it would be pretty much like uh, Word where you have your uh, bold and you can change the styles headings would be the sticker uh, like down here where it's a thicker font um, so if you want to change the uh, paragraph or headings or anything like that center it, adjust it, we have indentions, bullets so there's a lot of editing that you can do format wise on the text in this field but for instance right here what we want to do on this one is just make this picture a little bigger so we're going to click on the picture as you can see the bounding box is popping up around it we're just going to select the corner and hold the shift button as we drag it this will keep it uh, dragging where the aspect stays the same so we're just going to make it a little bit larger if you wanted to, you can go down here and type in the text. We're going to make sure that this is all spelled correctly. I have to add it to the dictionary because it's not in there. And so we make sure that everything is just the way we want it. And once you're done with it, all you have to do is hit save. So after that, you can preview your work by going up here to the preview button, clicking on that, and it'll bring you right to the page. So if we change that Lackland page, that resides over here in the residence. So as you can see the picture we made it a little bit bigger. But we want it to match the size of that picture so we're going to make it a little bit bigger still. And we keep making adjustments. Hit and save. Then we come back over here to the original page. Refresh the screen and see it gets a little bigger. So since we want it to match we want to do it one more time and just make sure that they're pretty much the same size. So again, we save it, then we come back here, and we always have to remember to refresh the screen. That's going up here and clicking the re refresh arrow. And as you can see, now they're close to the same size, maybe just a little bit bigger. So one last adjustment, and that should be it. So that's how easy it is to go through and update a page. So once you've updated it, you fix the image size the way you want it, you fix the text the way you want it, all you have to do is hit save. If you hit save, it will save the screen. It'll save all the information, and you can then go refresh the screen over here. You should see the updated information. If you hit save and close, that's going to close it and take you back to the article manager. Now, if you're in the article and you want to do a new article from where you're at, and you don't want to have to go back to the article manager, you just hit save and new. And that's going to open up a new page where you can start typing new text. So all your sites are set up in categories so there'll be categories according to how you wanted them on the sites. So right here for instance that was uh, under um, current clients. So the last one was under current clients uh, because it's it's uh, information for residents. So if we wanted to add another uh, mobile home park or something on here we'd go in here type in the title that we want you know whatever the name of the mobile home park would be then we type in the information we write right here and then we hit save and close 
So depending on how the site is set up, it should appear instantly right here in this section. There'll be a third mobile home park on there. And once we do that, if we go back here to the other page, we should have another mobile home community up here with a test. So that's how you go through. And if so this one right here, we don't really want it. We're going to close this, go back to the article manager. We're going to select that new file that we just created, which is mobile home community. Select that in the checkbox and then just trash it. Now remember, if this is not something that you only did by yourself, uh, if this is a site that your webmaster set up for you uh, and then you're trashing it, make sure before you trash it that you set it up or you want it trashed because there's no bringing it back from the trash can. Now, if you don't want it to appear on the site anymore, but you still want to save it in there just in case you don't know, you, you, maybe it's something that you might need later or you want to make adjustments to it before you publish it, status, this check boxes right here will take it on and offline. So if we go back right now, we took that one off, so this will go away. There we go. Now, if we go back here and check box that and turn the status um, uh, to unpublish, what we're going to have is a red X there, and when we go back here, we'll see that Lachlan is now gone. So technically, the page still exists in the article manager, but since it's not published, it won't do anything. It won't show on the actual main site, and so that's what we want. And if we go back there, now it's there again because we published it again. So that's pretty much the basics of the article manager. There will be more in uh, upcoming videos, but in this one right here, we've taught you everything you need to know to get in there and quickly edit a page. Click the About Us page, go in there, change the text you want to change, hit Save and Close, and you're done. That's all there is to it.